The flames of war have finally reached the ancient Chinese imperial capital, and it's time to take what is rightfully ours and bring peace to the land of China. Welcome back guys, it's Pope John Paul here, and we are in ancient China again, and as I have said, just said, with the Three Kingdoms Total War game, and we have a great siege view here. Absolutely amazing. Me and Scrim have uh, did this quite a few weeks ago and it was a very, very epic siege and I thought I'll show it, share it with you guys. So I'll quickly go over this huge host that we have to uh, our availability. We have heavy spear guards, a lot of heavy spear guards, a lot of sabre militia. Let's quickly look at some of these guys if you haven't already seen what they look like. Some spear guards, and we've got archer militia, we've got saber militia, they look fairly fairly cool. Um lots of our, lots of militias, peasant spears to take the rams up and that is your purpose, boys. You've got to take those rams and you've got to knock down those walls. And then we've got some yellow turban spears also on the same duty. And then we've got Oh, also, if you haven't seen my uh, 6,000 uh, peasants fighting each other um, battle, then you should go and check that out. It's very, very funny. Lots of chaos. And we've got G Militia. So some, like, halberds type men. And then we've got White Wave Veterans. These look pretty cool. They look very cool. And then we've got behind them, we've got the Uiks here. They're in a unit of 60, so I presume they're very elite. And then, um... Some yellow dragons, and we'll get into some of the other ones as we go on. We've got cavalry, crossbows, protectors of heaven. These guys are awesome. I've seen these guys before on the channel. Very, very cool. And we've got a huge army ahead of us. Anyway, we'll start the battle, and we'll uh, get into it. Attack! Yes, attack. And we've got a trebuchet, obviously. And the trebuchets in this are nasty. I mean, they are usually in most of the other games, but they are nasty. And Scrim, who is defending, has a lot of trebuchets as well. Just get given a lot. And my first my first aim was to take down this wall. I was like, we need a breach. Because I'm, I'm sure arch towers in this are just um, as bad as they are in Attila. And th they were. They are awful. They are like machine gun fire. And we've got a random horse here. I presume a hero is somewhere nearby, and that's their horse. So we've got three forces. We've got a force over here. We have a central force. We have a force there on the left or right from my perspective. And yeah, the ram's going up now. Strangely, I sent the um, the yellow turban spears to take the ram first. And look at them. They're getting gunned down. Look at all these archers gunning them down. The wall is already broken down. That was very, very quick of them. Poor, oh, poor men having to go and take this. This ram is just going. And um, these guys are thinking, Pope, why are you just attacking and not even, like, got any siege equipment here? But there's no ladders, but you can, like, in Empire and in Napoleon Total War, you can just put, um, like, grappling hooks up onto the wall and climb up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to rush the walls. And we're taking a lot of casualties on our way there. But it's going to be worth it. I mean, Scrim brought a lot of archers. Like, a lot of crossbows. These... These guys, the heavy repeating crossbows, I'm pretty sure they are deadly. Yep. Oh no, just heavy crossbows. And then heavy crossbows here. Heavy crossbow infantry all over the place. Defense of Earth as well. These are really elite archer unit. They're taking a lot of fire themselves now. Oh, and trebuchet crew taking some damage. But yes, this is insanely... And this unit here... It's poor yellow turban spear unit now getting flanking fire. And it's just about to get to the wall. We are finally breaking to the Imperial City. And finally the uh, force on the right is now moving forward. The central force has moved forward a little bit, but not too much. Yes, it's time to scale the walls. Let's see them grappling hook this. The, gates have fallen. Attack. the grappling hook's going up now. Here they go. Oh, that guy died before he even got to go at the grappling hook. The spear guard going up. So spears going against crossbows. Probably not the greatest move, but um, it's what we're going to have to do. And the spears now up on the wall there. Scrim's brought more troops up. 
This is very, very fast paced, and there we go, in they go. Over the walls, boys. They have, oh, that's funny, they have no spears or shields when they go over the wall, but then as soon as they appear on the wall, they have them in hand. Very, very nice. And now, yep, yeah, the walls are down, uh, not the walls, the gate's down. There's two gates, I decided to only go for, through one. Um, oh, and just like that, general flying in. Very, very nasty. Look at that carnage in there. These uh, sword militia probably won't hold that long against these spear guard, but we've got to hope that they will. And they've got Jin warriors in behind. I'm pretty sure these guys are. They're very elite as well. They look it with their shields and swords. And now I'm just uh, covering these guys. L look at this formation as well, this box formation. Testudo also with a like a box. And, but it's just destroyed there instantly. The general kills it. And now my yellow turban axemen just charge in. Oh, the yellow dragons, I think these are, aren't they? And they're just charging. I'm still working on the names. Uh, still working on learning all the names for this, uh, this game. But we're getting there. And we're just pouring in. And lots of my units are breaking. Look at all these units breaking. I mean, there's some all the way back here that have uh, yellow dragons, which I think I forgot about in uh, setting up. But who knows? Well, maybe they broke very, very quickly. Who knows? But it's not looking good. Uh, not many men on the walls. I have somehow got arch militia on the walls. And they're fighting uh, sword militia. Oh no, Jin warriors. So they're definitely dead. So I'm not quite sure how these guys got on the wall, but they did. Um, and I also have a sentinel that's now fighting a champion. And the champion's not looking very healthy. Zeng Jane. And we also now have um, this guy, another champion in there. And he... He will... Oh, enemy general fallen. Oh, there you go. Just as I was talking about it, that champion died. Wow, I wish I caught that. But yes, now we have two heroes in here supporting these uh, saber militia. They might break through these Jin Saws warriors. But we also have now poured into this breach. Look at that. Look at the amount of men in here. God. Shut up and die. So brutal to each other. But yes, a healer fighting a sentinel. Probably not very good for my... Uh, my healer, but that's not that's not the end of the world. Yes, not looking great for he. he. Oh dear, another broke another broken unit. This whole flank, look at that decimated, like line upon line of decimated. That's uh, arch is gone, just decimated, and more archers here, I presume. Yeah, gone. My, uh, Scrims now revealed his cavalry with uh, Sao Sao in looming here in the uh, in the dark We've got mounted saber militia getting ready to uh, attack but i mean scrim's losing some men now looking here he's, je he's got quite a lot of generals breaking and that's always um, a bad sign if your general's gonna break i just the the uh, conversations they have is just hilarious kong rong his strategist is a uh, main general i'm pretty sure is uh up there on the walls oh that kick can you st just stop that? Stop it. Stop it. It looks like these arch militia are actually winning on the f winning here. They won in their fight up here, which is very, very surprising. And they're now fighting the protectors of heaven. This elite arch unit. And they may they are gonna have a, a tough fight here again. But uh, you know what? I believe in this unit. They've done their duty, and some of them are firing off while uh, the, the others are fight, fighting on. So these, yeah, this, look at this Jim warrior. He's going to come in, and he's going to. It's like I've had enough of you guys. A unit has That's perished. it. None are left. Oh no, he's breaking. He's 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 not that heroic. But yes, yeah, so that's happening. And look at this. We're now breaking through the gate. Oh, but still getting a lot of arch fire, and this unit running away. Not got a chance. The general's going to make sure that they they're broken properly. We've got more Jin warriors here, ready to uh, block the gate, block the way through. But just like that, two heroes. That formation's gone. Oh, poor guy. He's like, no, spare me. Oh, they're both doing the same animation. Do you guys know each other? But yeah, these sword militia are doing it very very well. We're massing on. We're just charging them through, and I've got my own Jin warriors now coming through and we just got a huge I just I was like that's it it's time time to just pile on through We're going for the capture point the scrim's not had it he's got some spear guard left and he's gonna 
try and take me on. He's going to try and take this commander on. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. So I would definitely get it wrong. But he's just cutting down. Yeah, just cutting them down. This romance mode, generals just slay so many people. And then this uh, militia, sword militia here unit just suck, soaking up a lot of fire. Look at all these archers still on the wall here for Scrim. He's got so many, so many archers left. It's ridiculous. I was like, just come on, guys, just come on, Scrim, give me a chance. Oh no, another. I'm presuming this is more archers. Yeah, more archers dead, dead in the ground by the looks of it. I don't know. Oh yeah, crossbows. Yeah, crossbow unit. Now the cavalry are coming in. I was like, right, we might as well send the cavalry in. And all the generals. So, and then we're fine. We're still breaking through here. This is taking forever. But we've we've got past, like, the initial the initial part. Like, initial breach. And we're now, like, slightly in the streets. And Scrim looks like he's falling back. Is he falling back or is he breaking? Oh, they're broken. Okay, so we are slowly breaking them. Two generals now in there. That is um, going to help. Just, the horses are killing so many. The horses are doing more damage than everyone else, it seems. Yeah, that horse is, uh, the general is just somewhere else. The, the poor horse. I feel sorry for you, lad. He's got to see all this death. Spear, more spear guard coming in. Scrim just spamming out the spear guard, it seems. And more over here. But the, the real trouble is over here for Scrim. He really needed to, uh bring more of his troops across because I am slowly breaking through I have three generals here now doing damage I'm pretty sure uh, attacking people oh no one of them is not one of them is south south this is Scrim's cavalry came in he came in from outside and came to uh, hold me back but it's to no use I've got my yellow dragons now in here and my general another enemy general has fallen Wow, we're getting we're getting close. We have just got to get to here, and we take the Imperial City. I think we can do it. There's no forces over there. This is everything else is mainly archers. Look at this huge route. And I was like, "Come on, boys, we've got to just charge through." Huge route of uh, spears, and uh, yeah, basically all just spears, spear guard just breaking. We're now going to chase this guy down. Do we cut them down as they retreat? No, not really. They just we're just chasing them. Yes, they are craven. And this general just charging on, he's going for going for the um, capture point. As are these ones. And all we have left uh, to deal with really like melee wise is cavalry. Cavalry inside cities never goes well. Oh, just getting my guy's getting shot down chasing stuff. Run! Peasants and civilians run because the The rebellion is here. We are getting rid of the tyrant and putting probably another one in his place It's kind of how these things work So there's a small Defense here by the spear guard on the steps But I mean look at the amount of numbers that I have just able to Attack them I'm flanking them as well here and now it's on. On again. I'm not even sure what's left. The scrim. Just the archers by the looks of it. And apart from... Oh, he's got one uh, swords there. And that's it. So he's not got a lot left. Oh, and he's got some heavy spears here. Oh, yes, I remember this. This was... Scrim did a very cool uh, formation. And uh, he nearly surrounded my general for a bit, but he's broken out. And now... Uh, now he's just cutting down all these guys willy-nilly. Look at that. A large man on a horse. This horse has got to be like one of the strongest in the world. Because he's a big boy. Now I'm bringing in a few small swords just to like help support. But they're really not going to do a lot. Oh, actually, they might be breaking. I'm really not sure. They're doing something. But this general, he should be able to deal with uh, any problem from these. Now another general coming in, yeah. These, these spears are definitely done done for. And then they go, breaking. Yeah, these guys are shattered. But look, I've got enough forces here now to uh, take the salmon, and I have. 
And uh, I think that's around about it. There's not much left that happens in this battle. It's, uh, it was a very quick but epic siege. And it was... Uh, I've got another one that I will probably show you that's even closer, I think. This one was just amazing that it was... Uh, it was just... It was really, really good and I really enjoyed it. Um, and it's my first siege battle on Three Kingdoms. And to win it, I'm very, very happy. But um, if you guys have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'll just throw that in there. Now, we've still got a, a little bit left. I'm pretty sure nothing left has happened. I will uh, fast forward. And we'll uh, see the end of this uh, battle. Heavy spears hit. Yep. And just like that, everything breaks. Or uh, I take it in time with enough time left. So we'll end the battle. We'll have quickly have a look at this. If you want to see more Three Kingdoms, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm really um, starting to get into it and it's getting quite enjoyable. But anyway, let's quickly look at the, s the stats. And Scrim's crossbows, wow. 200 kills. 275 kills. 175 kills. 455. These archers decimated. And these ones have 30 men in them. They're like, they're not very... So they've killed a lot of men per man. Um, his spear's doing very, very poor. And sword's doing... Some of them are doing okay. Some, some of them just got overwhelmed. Cavalry, not doing great. Um, for me, uh, I brought a lot, of, a lot of trash. But I needed a lot to storm the walls. Um, nothing stands out for me that's doing excellent. This spear guard down here getting 150 nearly. And getting a 90 here with this uh, yellow dragons. And 98 with the UX. So... Uh, so they clearly, uh, actually, uh, they're not Uixer. They're the um, veterans. They're the Uixer. Um, so yeah, we did. It was. It did well. I mean, general. The generals for me doing the most. He, uh, he, he or however you say his name, getting 162. I've got another one here getting 146, 120 here, 170, even better. So yeah, we did. We did very, very well. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you want to see more Three Kingdoms, please let me know. I hope you've enjoyed, and until next time, guys, bye for now.